Our next contender is the most influential ecosystem engineer in North America. No other animal has a greater impact on the landscape than nature's very own furry chainsaws. No tree is safe from the beaver's chisel-like teeth. And the sound of running water is enough to make the beaver move damn fast. Beavers make their home using only teeth, tail, and paws. Their dam can transform a valley by creating their own private lake. This is a moat to keep their lodge safe from predators. During the course of a year, a pair of beavers may cut down as many as 400 trees and flood an area covering several hectares. And that's why the beaver is number two in the countdown. Their simple homes can become truly enormous. How would you like to build a dam that's four meters high, seven meters thick at the base, and strong enough to support a family car? The biggest beaver dam was more than 650 meters. That's long enough to stretch beneath the Brooklyn Bridge. And remember, beavers use nothing more than their teeth, paws, and bottom to build it. No wonder people say they're busy as a beaver. Few human designers would choose to build their house in a swamp, but there is one man who wanted to create a castle. In 1972, sculptor Howard Solomon was looking for a quiet place to work. He found it in a central Florida swamp. But when he discovered that the land he'd bought didn't have enough high ground to build horizontal, he decided to build vertical instead. Solomon's castle now stands three stories high, and every exterior surface is covered with discarded aluminum printing plates from the local newspaper. The castle serves as an exhibition gallery for several hundred pieces of Solomon sculpture. The king of this extraordinary castle is Howard Solomon. I designed the castle according to the availability of materials. When I first came here, I saw an ad in the paper for printing plates. They said, you can repair your chicken house with these plates. And, I, and the price was so reasonable, I thought, why not make a, a tin castle? Because tin castles are for temporary kings. You have to rain before it rusts. Howard Solomon may be the king of a tin castle, but not even he has a gold throne, unlike Lam Sai Wing from Hong Kong. The world's most expensive washroom is made out of 300 kilograms of 24 karat gold. Embedded in the ceiling are more than 6,000 precious stones. It's located in Lam Sai Wing's jewelry shop, and although 10,000 people visit it every day, only those who have spent more than $200 get to use the solid gold facilities for free. Beavers may get fewer tourists visiting their lodge in the middle of the lake, but then that's kind of the point of their magnificent design. There's only one animal architect that's come up with a more extreme home, and it's not made out of gold, but droppings. Towering above the plains of Africa, this skyscraper belongs to some truly extreme home designers. It's just that they're all busy down in the basement, 
digging their way into number one in the countdown are termites. These tiny insects construct their massive castles using nothing more than their mouths to mix together saliva, dirt, and dung. It may be messy, but this plaster sets like concrete and can be molded into extraordinary design features like air conditioning systems, a water well, covered walkways, stairs, and underground gardens. The only thing they don't build are windows because these incredible home designers are completely blind. A termite mound can be taller than a giraffe weigh more than 60 tons and house more than 5 million insects. Some of these extreme homes can survive for more than 100 years. But one human construction has been around for much longer than that. About 5,000 years ago on the Salisbury Plains in England, people started to work on Stonehenge, an ancient monument created out of massive slabs of granite. No one knows exactly what inspired the first Neolithic home designers to maneuver 25-ton slabs of granite around a field. But we do know that the whole monument is symmetrically arranged around a central axis. A processional avenue points directly to the spot on the horizon where the sun first appears on the 21st of June. This is the summer solstice. And every year at this time, the sun rises exactly on top of a stone in the center of the avenue. It's an extreme piece of design for people using Stone Age technology. But an animal with a brain the size of a pinhead has been doing the same thing for millions of years on the other side of the world. These are magnetic termite mounds and every single mound is precisely aligned to face north. Magnetic termites are number one in the countdown because it's been recently discovered that termites can sense the Earth's magnetic field. Without this information, they would surely die in the extreme heat of Australia's Northern Territory. The sun is the reason why the magnetic termite has to design such a strange home. It's very wide and very, very thin. The termites migrate within the nest because there can be a 20 degree temperature difference between the side in the shadow and the side in the sun. And at midday, because only the thin upper edge of the mound faces the sun, the amount of heat absorbed by the nest is minimized. While accurately aligning the house is a matter of survival for the magnetic termite, some people believe that human home orientation can influence your health, wealth, and happiness. That's why it pays to call in an expert in one of the hottest design trends sweeping America. Hi. Hello, I'm Angie. I'm Steve, how are you? Angie Ma Wong is the feng shui lady of Los Angeles. Feng shui means wind and water in Chinese. It's based on the idea that landscapes, buildings, and even whole cities have hidden zones of energy, or qi. This energy can be manipulated by the shape, color, and size of a structure. A building that allows qi to flow freely brings about prosperity and success. So it's very important to make sure that the client's house is correctly aligned to its surroundings. That's why, just like a magnetic termite, Angie positions features of the client's house in relation to the directions of a special compass. Because these directions govern various aspects of life, she places the corresponding colors, animal symbols, numbers, and elements in the areas that the client wishes to activate.
by putting things in their correct place, Angie believes that you can live a happier, healthier life. Feng Shui is about energy. We're talking about the energy of a home. And by moving different things to different places, by adding things or subtracting things, we actually can manipulate the energy. Uh, three basic things we can do immediately to improve things. Number one, when you're sleeping, you would close mm. the door. Okay, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two. And what, what will that do? That is uh, preventing the Sha Chi from coming out, this energy that's coming from the bathroom. Mm and the noxic uh, energy, the toxic energy coming out towards whoever the occupants of the bed. The second thing would be to remove these, this plant here. As you can see, these are like spear heads right here. And the Sha Chi is emanating, this killing energy is emanating all over the room, every point mm. into the room. And third, we would like to move this bed with the head part right up here so that you have support behind you, okay? We don't have to rip out any walls? Or we do not have to rip out any walls. Feng Shui is very natural and can be very practical. And I think that you'll find your sleep will improve. I am responsible to my clients to harmonize them and their energies with their homes and their workplaces. So they can be more productive, they can be more wealthy, they can be more healthy. Natural feng shui certainly keeps magnetic termites healthy. This could be why no other animal in the countdown compares to the thousands of blind designers that build a perfectly oriented air-conditioned mansion out of nothing but dirt and droppings. That's why when it comes to animal architecture, the termite really is the most extreme.